morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, priest, and the founder of the Jesuit missionaries. And today our intention is for Margaret White, the deceased, coming together as God's family. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to father the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jeho Jehoiakim, son of Joshua, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back, each from his evil ways, so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for their evil deeds. Say to them, thus says the Lord, if you disobey me, not living according to the law I place before you, and not listening to the words of my servant, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them, I will treat this house like Shalom, and make this the city to which all the nations of the earth shall refer when cursing another. Now the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking, all that the Lord bade him speak to all the people, the priests and the prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Shalom, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for, you, since for your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God, in your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Lord, in your great love, answer me. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. This is a word that has been proclaimed to you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astounded and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? 
and his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many, many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, St. Ignatius of Loyola gave the church a true gift in showing us how to read the scriptures prayerfully and contemplatively, drawing us into biblical stories as if we were part of the narrative. With spirit-guided imagination, we can ponder the people in a story what they might be saying to one another and how they are re reacting to Jesus and why or what Jesus is doing as he speaks to them. This way of listening to and praying in the scriptures often opens up dimensions that can be overlooked, especially in familiar passages. Ignatius' method of reading and praying might open up today's gospel in new ways for us. The people of Jesus' hometown think they know everything there is to know about him. He is the son of a carpenter. His brothers and sisters are well known. But far from welcoming him with open arms, the familiarity they have with Jesus stops them from seeing what he is doing in God's name. Where might we find ourselves in this account? Is it possible that the story of Jesus' life and ministry has become so familiar that it is no longer astonishes us that we presume to know how God works or that we have forgotten how the Spirit can bring fresh life to people and places we would not expect to see God at work. Let us pray for our renewal of our faith through the works of the Spirit, so that you may witness Jesus' grace for everyone. Everyone has something to transform our lives. Everyone has something to enrich us in our lives. And everyone is so gifted to make our lives changed. Let us be open for our journey of life and be ready to change. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm also with you. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus. We thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of faith, and for this we pray. Lord, Through the intercession and prayers of St. Ignatius, Lord, give us courage always so that we can continue to ponder in the scriptures so that we can change our lives, and for this we pray. Lord, give us strength always to recognize that each one has something to help us to journey in our lives, to change in our lives, but even if to embrace in your presence. And for this, we pray. Lord, we pray for the needs of our church and for the needs of our country. Give us always to recognize that when we work together in harmony and also in a supportive way, we can reach you. And for this, we pray. We pray for those who have died, especially for those who died with this COVID-19. Receive them for eternal rest, and for this we pray. Lord, we ask thee through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, to Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made it the fount of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy church, teach her by his wonder words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim you a death, O Lord, and profess you a resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Margaret White, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in no mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but in the river us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and if you're watching us on live stream, please put the note in the chat box. Peace be with you, Dick. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now with you that you should enter into my roof. I only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Can you come up quickly? Please make sure your mask is covering your nose as well as your mouth. We ask that you hold your hands like a cup or a basket, and then once you receive communion, if you would step over to the yellow mark and lift up your mask and receive uh, communion at that time, it'll help the flow. Thank you.
paste done. Thus says the Lord, I have come to cast fire on the earth, and how I wish that it were kindled. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O oh Lord, bring us to exalt you, O Majesty, without end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Gary, I would like to thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And especially for those who are watching live stream masses, I say also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Let us continue to work together to support one another. And remember, when we work together as a team, the power of the Holy Spirit always can make a difference. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Thanks be to God.